Okay, so I drew a bunch of crap last night. I'm I'm very tired because I I inked five comic pages and then I also drew all this junk that I'm gonna like show you on screen. So hold on, let me just let me just show you. Okay. I drew a random like Herschel, so I don't really know. That one was just kinda there. Uh, I drew this ash and I posted it to Instagram. One thing that I initially did was I used a dissolve brush, this one. Um, like when you, here, like the effect that you use when you have like the dissolve layer turned on. Oh shit, you don't see it now. Fucking, I'm an idiot. I'm so dumb. <laughs> okay, so if you use the dissolve brush and you like don't use like full pressure, you can get kind of like this stippling effect. Unfortunately, you can't keep that effect if you want to post it because the dots get like crazy tiny and not like the way that I want it. So I used a uh, Kyle T. Webster brush, and that actually did it. Um, I want to post more to Instagram, so I'm trying to force myself to like really power through and like do a a fairly okay drawing every day and post it. I also think like I can also use some of my comic pages and just like take the good panels. Plus, it'll force me to draw good panels. <laughs> So, you know, yeah, so I kind of like that one. I, I, I initially drew it and then I was like, ah, this seems kind of lame. So I added like some, some cheesy background. Um, this one I haven't inked yet. I have it in green because if I record it, I want the line art to like, ah shit, to kind of like disappear. You know, I, I green screen out the green part and then it just magically appears. Um, I'll be real with you guys. I fucking hate recording stuff like that because it's I hate it's hard for me to see the green like my eyes don't like this bright ass green um I could use another color technically but like it's easier just to use fucking green but um I want like every paranormal plague chapter to my battery died anyways um but yeah I hate fucking inking with this green but my plan is for paranormal plague to do like a cool chapter in between I, I don't know if this one is good enough um I want them to have like the text on it that say like chapter one and you know and like maybe like have the characters like hold on to the you know make it like more comic booky um for the chapter in betweens even though even though like I don't it's kind of pointless I just think it would be like fun I don't know but I don't know if this one's good enough to do that but eh, there's that one and then I was sketched this this is so stupid um is I just wanted to, I also want to make, like, little stupid comics that I post to Instagram. I have a couple ideas. I have this idea for, like, Dark Herschel, and I don't mean that literally. I mean, like, you know how, like, every Tumblr or, like, pretty much, like, anything that's popular, they make, like, a dark, edgy version of it? I want to make, like, a dark, edgy version of Herschel, where, like, he just tells people to kill themselves and, like, he's an asshole. Um, but no, this isn't for the dark AU. This is just, uh, dumb shit. I haven't drawn the Reese part, so the punchline isn't here yet. But basically, like, he says, Reese, why do you have so many collars and leashes? Did you have a dog? <laughs> and it is just, like, <laughs> Reese being kink-shamed in the corner. Um, and then I drew this Herschel. I don't know if I like it. I think his eyes are too big. Um... Okay, save. I don't know what I did there to require it to be saved. And then I have, like, all of this footage of, like, me inking these comics. So, like, I have so much fucking footage. This one is 43 gigabytes worth of footage. So, like, uh... I don't know about that. Um, and it's just the inking part. So... And I'm not even done with the inking part. <laughs> But I also recorded that ash drawing, so yeah, I did that today. And my hand kind of hurts, and uh, I, I'm still going to draw because I have like a lot of ideas today. So I'm going to roll with it. This is my favorite page I have done in a while. It's like the gayest page I've done in so long. <laughs> I like this just because he's just like, it's fine, Simon. It's okay. I'll abandon my family for you. We're fine. <laughs> Smooch. <laughs> I don't know. Um, these next few pages that I'm working on are not so nice. Um, basically, my goal is every day to do five pages. Um, I might not post them every day, but, like, to draw them every day. And they might not be just from book two, because, to be honest with you, I keep, I keep doing it bad, and I keep drawing from book one. 
Um, I know I shouldn't, but like, honestly, it, it keeps me, I'm still drawing comics. It's just like, you know, okay. I'll try to draw from book two first, okay? Especially since I have all the thumbnails for book two. Although, to be fair, like, book one's pretty much, like, I'm just using the pages as thumbnails. I mean, anyways. <laughs> but yeah, um, so I got that done. And I just, I don't know, I really like, despite, like, I think this panel is actually fairly awkward. I had a better panel earlier, like, from an earlier page. Like, technically, this is, like, a much better page. Because it, like, makes use of, like, the whole page. Whereas, like, this has, like, a bunch of weird negative space. Um, but I'll allow it because it's cute. But anyways, I'm working on this page. Um, where it starts to get a little more serious and, like... I want I want to ask you guys a question for those who, like, draw comics. Or for those who, like, have illustrated snow... How do you guys illustrate snow? Like, what is your method? Because, like, I feel like... Because I've, I've lived in snowy areas before. I have lived in uh, Minneapolis before. And, like, you know... <laughs> when it was having a winter fucking vortex. So I know what snow looks like. But it's really hard to capture what snow looks like. So what, what do you guys do for snow? I'm I'm not sure if I like it or not cuz I'm not sure if it accurately really portrays snow, but I don't know if it's possible to like portray snow in a way that isn't like extremely time consuming. I don't know. Let me know how you guys draw snow. I'd love to see how you I've seen some snow brushes, but like the only way to show the snow is to have like a background and then have the white over it because white obviously like, with this, I have some that are, like, layer styles of just, like, me doing, like, little lines. So, like, some of it is, like, hand-drawn snow, and some of it is, like, a big brush that, like, just sort of has, like, an outline. I don't know how to explain this. But, um, just let me know how you draw snow. I'm curious. Someone mentioned in, like, the last video that, like, you could get, uh, paper tape for packaging stuff. And um, that's actually something I've been considering. Not that I'm trying to be, like, zero waste, because honestly, like, um, the priority for me right now is to just, like, make things. And, like, I don't, <laughs> I don't know if I have the time investment to, like, devote to that yet, but, um, and I don't think I'd ever really want to be zero waste, but, because, like, gross. Um, sorry, not to be, not to sound judgmental, but, like, there's some things where I would like to to be a little wasteful, disgusting human. Um, especially when I'm gonna have, like, a child in, like, the future house. So, uh, you know, not my children, my sister's children, but anyways. Like, some things I feel like, yeah, I'm gonna use a paper towel for this one, <laughs> you know what I mean? But anyways, they were saying that you could get, uh, paper tape, and it's what Amazon uses. Um, and if you don't know, paper tape is basically, like, it's got a self-adhesive on the back. Well, it's not a self-adhesive. It's a, it's a dry adhesive that you use a sponge with, and then you can, like, put it on packages. And since I'm going to be mailing, um, stuff out for the laser business, uh, that's in these little, these boxes, um, uh, it makes sense because it would also match the packaging, so it would be brown. Um, so I'm gonna actually look into that, because then I won't have to use the, uh, you know, the plastic tape. Not that I, you know, you know, have to feel bad about using tape, but it's actually a better solution, because that kind of tape works better, because if you don't know, that kind of tape has fibers in it, and it can actually hold it shut better. You can also get, um, like custom tapes made out of this, which I think is, like, I guess kind of counterintuitive to, like, people thinking it's eco-friendly because, like, technically, you know, <laughs> you're printing a thing. <laughs> if you make anything custom, it just makes it more money and, like, more, you know, non-eco-friendly. But, you know, it's cooler. Like, look at that. Look, isn't that neat? I don't know. I'd have to choose, like, a really good color to use if I'm gonna do it. It's, like, it's not outrageous, because technically, you would spend the same amount of money um, for each roll. Well, actually, not really. You would spend qu you would spend about $10 more, but it would be cool. So, <laughs> so I'm probably going to end up making um, some, some, like, razor laser 
uh, packing tape and then some for my art shop um, because that is fucking cool. Hell yeah. It's like 4 a.m. My hand hurts like a motherfucker. And I know it's because I've been inking all the time. And like, it hurts like right at the wrist. So I know it's because I like need to stop drawing for today. So I think I might actually go to sleep and then like in the morning, you know, try to be healthy. Because like the past few days I have not. And like, I think it's affecting me. So tomorrow I will go for a walk and I don't know, maybe I'll take you guys with me. But I'm gonna go to a, take a nap or take a sleepy. Okay, I couldn't sleep so I put some athletic, some of that athletic tape on my wrist. It, it works a little bit but I still, I still think I should stop drawing for right now or get some Advil. Um, but I'm gonna just like edit videos that doesn't require like a lot of wrist movement. But yeah, it's because I'm inking. If I was just drawing, my hand wouldn't hurt. But inking fucks with your hand. Um, because I can't, I can't use my whole arm when I'm inking. That's a very, like, technical, you know, tiny little detail bullshit that hurts your arm. So, <laughs> I better be careful. Are you comfy there? Wow, you look at my pretty boy. Oh, so pretty. So smart. On my stuff while I'm trying to draw. You fucking shit. I'm trying to draw. Whoa, how much detail can I pick up on this? You know, despite owning this camera for like forever, I never actually use it that much. I thought about selling it, but I also still kind of feel like I've never actually used this camera to its full capacity, so... Like, it just now occurred to me that I could use this camera, like, as a camera. I'm an idiot, is what I'm saying to you. So, I'm ordering some stuff from Jet Pens. Basically, just, like, stuff that can, like, help me, like, work on those, like, sketch cards, because I, my graphic pen pretty much just died, and I want to, like, use actual ink for it. So I ordered this tiny inking brush, um, some high-carb ink. This is my favorite ink. I wanted to try this pen, and this pen, and this pen. And then I got a white for, like, highlights. I don't know, I just figured I might as well try it and see, like, how it goes. I'm just about to be doing my hair. I put on this stuff. I don't really know. The lighting is horrible because like I'm light, I'm backlit. So like here, I'm just about to do my hair. Uh, and I use the, like this stuff on it. It prevents it from like just straight up um, getting fried. But guess who got into sand Japan, motherfuckers? Me. So I'm really excited. Uh, Twisted Disaster might come. I don't know. We kind of have to see because uh, plane tickets are expensive. Um, I don't know. I want to talk to her about that because I have some ideas. But anyways, um, a lot of shit's going to go down <laughs> because I got to work so hard. I got to work crazy hard for all this stuff to come together. So I'm excited. I'm going to do my hair now. I didn't actually finish straightening my hair. I just put the rest in the back and I just did my bangs. I don't know, I don't feel like doing it right now. Um, so, I worked on comics mostly today. I uh, did a live stream where I inked, like, literally, t not even two pages, like, almost two pages, but not quite. How pathetic. It was like a five hour live stream. How pathetic. Um, usually, I can, like, do a lot more pages than that, but I was just, I guess, distracted. But, like, I'm really excited about inking these pages. It's funny because, like, Sometimes when I sketch it, it's it's like, oh, did I ink that already? And it's like, because I fill in the blacks, it confuses me. Um, but it's like, it's, it's like, yeah, I don't think I did. Look how fucking scratchy that is. Um, but yeah, this is like my favorite panel I've done so far. <laughs> Just completely oblivious to Simon's pain. But um, yeah, the Kickstarter, we got a couple days left. Um, so if you guys want to... Uh, join it. Uh, now's the time because it ends on the 17th. 
So, yeah, and I'm gonna fucking upload this, so yee. Bye.